Welcome back to Fetier. This is part two in my series, The Jewel of Turkey. This is Chalice Beach. I couldn't think of anywhere nicer to be at 7.30 in the morning. Chalice is, it's changed quite a lot over the years. 20 years ago there was only a couple of hotels here and a few bars. Uh, now it's a thriving tourist attraction. Early in the morning you find that the promenade, which is probably over a mile long, is used an awful lot by fitness enthusiasts, if that's what you want to call them. But over the years they've cleaned the beaches up. There's nice facilities here for the sunbathers. And the hotels have improved as well. You might see the Muttler Hotel in the background, which was one of the first hotels. Still thriving. There's one or two nice bars on the front, but there's also, there's also bars in one of the back streets, which goes out from the seafront. And there's a couple of clubs here, nightclubs, which are very popular. and you just never know who's going to drop in. There's a couple of excellent restaurants here. One of my favourites. It's called Bella Mama's. It's very quiet in the morning, but in the evening you need to make a reservation. That's an Italian restaurant, obviously. There's also uh, a curry restaurant, a Chinese restaurant, a restaurant that serves curry, Chinese and Turkish. Yeah, Turkish, tea time. Turkish tea, I'm looking for one, don't worry. But the most unusual place in Chalish has got to be this place. This is the Yuruk Chadura, or the Nomad's Tent where they play Eastern Turkish arabesque type of music but it's a live venue and very traditional. Incidentally this place never gets busy till about 10, 30, 11 o'clock and often with families Excuse me, I'm putting my sunglasses on. It's so bright. That's better. Due to the number of apartments in Chalish, there's actually quite a few foreigners who live here. There's a small, mostly retired ex uh, pat community, and a few are involved in local charities, organising such events as um, a boot sale, they do that quite often, and an annual carnival. Which, I've got to say, the Turks have embraced and they have become very popular. Looking out from here one day, looking over towards the sea, we spotted a few boats um, and looked like they were having a sailing race. So I got on my bike, as I do, and um, took all the camera gear. And when I got down there, I was actually amazed that the, uh, the boats were all little kids, most of them only about seven or eight years old. Um, they were having this race and the, it was all organised by the Moolah uh, County Council and funded by them. 
uh, and apparently they have these races uh, throughout the Moola region uh, five or six times a year in different areas so um, you might be lucky enough to see something like that when you're here. One thing I did notice that, and you'll see from the film the kids actually were all involved in putting the boats into the water taking the boats out carrying all the sails and putting them away it was a, quite a nice thing to see I'm uh, riding, cycling down to the Chat restaurant now. Strange, Chalish Beach. Chalish means uh, work beach, by the way. The reason for that was uh, years ago, there was actually a railway line running down the front of the beach down to the Chat restaurant where we're going now. And they used to take a lot of bauxite out of the mountains around here and it was shipped to different places around the world so sort of 40 years ago this was the Chalish beach where all the work was who would have thought it would become the tourist attraction that it is today Chalish beach is also the best place to come and see the sunset you don't see the sunset really uh, from Fetier. Uh, there's a mountain in the way and it sort of faces uh, north. So. The Chat restaurant, which we're cycling to now, it faces a little island actually called Chevalier Island. I've no idea why it's called Chevalier Island. But it's apparently where most of the rich people live. Uh, I think it's the place where there's a little boat going across from Chalice to the Chevalier Island as well. I've not mentioned this before, but I was actually a Thompson rep in Fetier, and I came to uh, Chalice in 1989. That's me on the left-hand side of the picture. Right, we've come to the bird sanctuary, so we're going to have a little look around there. Kush Janity. I also ran a pub here called the Fox and Dogs 20 years ago. It's now B-52s. And this is the bird sanctuary. There's a few shops in Chalice selling the usual holiday produce, but if you really want a shopping experience, you've got to go to the Chalice Sunday Market about a mile away. 
Turkish markets are always good fun. You can buy anything from DVDs to 20 kilos of strawberries. I'm looking for strawberries today. It's quite normal in a Turkish market to try the produce before you buy it. The fruit and veg is marked prices, but you can barter for other products. And you'll find some really good traditional products as well. This is the Nazar Bonjour, or Evil Eye. You keep it in your house or in your car, and it keeps away the bad omens or evil spirits. Cheap shop, leather shop. If you buy three, get one for it. You can even buy a Hubble Bubble pipe. Two lira. One like this. The other one like this. Excuse me, excuse me, buy one, get me free. This is my car share, Betty. This is real snow from the mountain. It's not slush puppy, it's really made from snow, which they collect off the mountain. And I've actually been up the mountain hiking when the guy has been up there with his donkey and he's had two great big bags of snow either side of his donkey. Go and get this. So, yeah, and then they sell it in the market and it doesn't, it doesn't melt, it's wrapped and wrapped in blankets and it doesn't melt for weeks. Made from snow and pec mez, which is uh, boiled grapes, and then they get the juice from the grape. Um, and it thickens as it's boiling. And then uh, when it's cooled down, it, it becomes what they call pec mez, which is concentrated grape juice. Hmm. Lovely. This is the Marash ice cream man. Yes, best ice cream is here in town. Because Mama make homemade ice cream. Love it. Very cheap, very nice. Marash ice cream or Marash Dondurmasa comes from the place Marash in Turkey. It's a traditional ice cream that's elasticated. It's got an additive called salep, which is obtained from the root of an orchid plant. Just outside the resort you'll find all sorts of wonderful things. You can hire bikes. Go out on a boat trip. You can hire a boat for the day or you can just get the boat taxi over to Fetier, which is a trip in itself, it only costs 5 lira. The boat taxi operates up until about half 11 at night. Don't forget you can go out of the resort on the Dolmish service. That's the little mini buses. Jump on these little buses, just flag them down. They're so cheap. You can get anywhere in Turkey on the bus system. Just outside the resort is a bowling alley. And if you walk down the beach for about 15 minutes, you come to a place called Kodja Chalish, where life is a bit more laid back and rustic. That's the surf centre. Best place to come in Fetier if you want to try some water sports out.
In my next episode we'll be going over to the beautiful resort of Eludonis where there's a fantastic lagoon, fabulous nightlife and the most fantastic place to paraglide. And subscribe to my channel. Check out my website www.actionvideo.productions with an S on the end.